Tuberculosis has continued to be the cause of mortality as an opportunistic infection among those living with HIV and AIDS. This comes amidst the increase in ignorance of its classical symptoms. Mr. Andrew Mazzorera, the Minister of Health, noted on March 24th during the celebrations of World TB Day that this can be reduced by an increase in awareness. World TB Day gives us an opportunity as citizens of Zimbabwe to raise the level of awareness and accelerate political commitment to TB affairs. We all have a role to play in the fight for a world free of TB. Meza Masese from the Life Empowerment Support Organization told us about the groundwork that the organization has done in Chitungwiza and in Harare. Part of their duties include monitoring patients who are on treatment and giving them psychological and social support as they are on their courses. We have the health facilitators, the caregivers, which visit TB clients. We take, uh, we collect names from uh, from the local clinics of the TB clients, and we make a follow up on. Sister Simatia from the Northern Suburb Clinic said more into giving out information to pregnant mothers so they can reduce the risks of mother-to-child transmission of HIV and AIDS and TB and also reduce the symptoms before they lead to mortality. I'm representing prevention of mother-to-child transmission where we are saying we want all mothers to have an HIV test and we prevent HIV or HIV positive. And during our antenatal are also screening for Community outreach is still the major tool of reducing the spread of TB, but it requires a lot of funding as there is an ever-increasing population. But as the Minister of Health, Mr. Andrew Mazzorera, said, it begins with you and me. This is Nigel Mabiza reporting for Zikora Mobile Reporters Network from Blawayo.